اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ ٹرائنگلز اینڈ دیئر ٹائپس لک ایٹ دا فگرز گیون ان دس ٹی چارٹ ان کالم نمبر 1 وی ہیو شیپس دیٹ ڈو ناٹ ہیو دیئر اینڈز میٹنگ سو دے آر کالڈ اوپن شیپس and in the second column we have shapes where the ends of its lines are meeting so they are called closed shapes a triangle is a closed figure that has three sides and this is called the vertex and the plural of vertex is vertices so how many vertices does a triangle have Yes, three. So a triangle is a closed figure that has three sides and three vertices. A triangle also has three angles. These curved purple lines show the angles of the triangle. This is the first angle, the second angle and the third angle. So a triangle is a closed figure that has three sides three vertices and three angles if you add up the measurement of these angles the answer will always be 180 degrees let's check this is a triangle angle a is equal to 60 degrees angle b is 50 and angle c is 70 Let's add them up. 70 plus 60 plus 50. The answer is 180 degrees. Now we have two more triangles here. Pause the video here and add up the angles to check whether they come to 180 degrees or not. Triangles can be classified according to sides and according to angles. Number 1 according to sides Look at this triangle all the sides of this triangle are equal such a triangle is called an equilateral triangle equi means equal and lateral means side Now look at this one in this triangle only two sides are equal such a triangle is called an isosceles triangle now look at this one in this triangle all the sides are of different length one is 7 cm long the other is 12 cm long and the third one is 15 cm long such a triangle is called a scalene triangle so a scalene triangle is a triangle which has all sides of different lengths number 2 according to angles now look at this triangle this triangle has three angles like all the other triangles the measurement of angle A is 75 degrees the measurement of angle B is 43 degrees the measurement of angle C is 62 degrees all of these angles are smaller than 90 degrees and angles that are smaller than 90 degrees are called acute angles so this triangle is an acute angled triangle This is a triangle that has two acute angles but one angle is larger than 90 degrees it is of 110 degrees an, an angle that is larger than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle so this triangle is an obtuse angled triangle now look at this one 
In this triangle, angle A is represented by straight lines. This is a 90 degrees angle. A triangle that has one angle equal to 90 degrees is called a right angled triangle. Jazakallah, that's all for today. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.